Now, this dog, for a lot of Lakeland people, here you can see it. This is an, as I say, he's at the upper range. Shoulders, musculature is nice and flat, not lumpy, not protruding at all. But a little wide, ideal. Uh, again, um, if you're thinking of a dog that you want to go into rocky crevices, it's pretty substantial. Pretty substantial. Uh, so you take a dog like this and you say, okay, very nicely constructed dog, well balanced, sound, beautiful coat, uh, lovely pigment, good color, a bit generic in type. Uh, there is a bit much of him all over. He is approaching, not there, but approaching Welsh Terrier type and balance. Not so much in the head, because the head is still a Lakeland head. It's not wedgy at all. But... Uh, making shape, this is a lot of dog. Uh, again, depending on what you have in the ring to compare him to, he may well be the best dog you've got. And so, all right, recognize that you are rewarding his overall quality and soundness. Do not mistake it for, oh, what a beautiful typey Lakeland. Useful in a breeding program if you've got bitches that <coughs> need some more bone and you want this lovely dense coat and you want his overall balance, beautiful feet, a <coughs> lot of quality here. Very few structural faults, just not the epitome of ideal Lakeland type. A useful dog properly integrated into a breeding program and therefore worthy of being rewarded in a show ring under certain circumstances. Uh, unless you've got a dog with equal structural quality and better type, then okay. If you'll notice this dog, probably first most obviously, yeah, he's smaller. Uh, this dog, I would say, is ideal size for a mature male. Um, and you look at him both size, overall make and shape, small workmanlike terrier. There it is. Uh, moderate. There it is. All the pieces fit moderation in every regard from the tip of his nose to the tip of his tail. Moderation. Uh, again, if you look at his head, it's still a strong, masculine head, not quite the fill that the red dog has. But, you know, look at it in relation to the rest of the dog. And also, all right, this dog is smaller, typier, Maybe could use a little more fill up here. All right, so you breed his daughters to the red dog. Both useful. If you notice, here, we'll do your, 
the sit trick again, okay, bud? Sit. <laughs> Strong hindquarter. <coughs> You'll notice he's not nearly as broad down his back and over the ribs as the red dog. They're just, I mean, there's like, even though the red dog is, the red dog's taller, uh, but he's also bigger. Bigger all over. Proportions between the two, except for their size and substance, the overall proportion of the dogs is not that different. Uh, the reason that this is a much more typey dog, in my view, is because he does not have that same level of substance and just body mass. And yet, nice round bone extending down to his feet, uh, lovely, broad, well-developed pelvis, high tail set, withers are higher into a short level top line. Rib cage back to there. You know, barely get three fingers in. You don't want more than three fingers on a mature dog. So that's a measurement thing that works well for me. I want to be able to, uh, I don't want more than three fingers there. Lovely, flat through the shoulders. They could maybe be just a hair tighter up here at the top. We're picking. Lovely length of neck. Beautiful arch to his neck. Ears moderate size and carriage. Again, he's uh, got a coat that has obviously been a, what we call a running coat. And uh, his coat is probably not quite as good as the red dog's coat. It's not quite as dense, tight. You run your hand down and it's a little more of what we call an open coat. Just doesn't hold together quite so tightly. Uh, so it, that's maybe one place that I, I would say the red dog's better is he's got maybe a, a little marginally better coat. But this is a very, very nice coat. I would not fault this coat. I just wouldn't go into states of rapture over it. Uh, so, you know, you you got to give somewhere. Lovely pigment on this dog. Lovely dark eye rims, black nose, dark small oval eye. You know, this is just the right amount of maturity, substance, and still maintaining the agility and athleticism of uh, a Lakeland as opposed to the, some of the other terrier breeds. A fox terrier, a, mature, a four and a half year old fox terrier is going to have a lot more spring of rib than this dog. Not only is he going to be taller, but he's going to have a lot more spring of rib. And uh, it's just, he smells something really good on this table. There be girls there. Yeah, there be girls there. So, um, questions? You did a good job. <laughs> Thank you.